80% of the energy comes off in the form of neutrons. They travel very, very, very fast, and they have long mean-free paths in any solid material. So you can have a blanket, in our case, we plan to use fly, the molten salt. We flow it in a waterfall, and the neutrons deposit their energy instantly over a very large volume. You can instantly absorb that energy thermally without any significant you know, mechanical shock. And how do you turn that into thermal energy you can use or electricity? Yeah, so that fusion is just a fancy heat source. So you heat up the molten salt, in our case, flows out the chamber a bit hotter than it flows in, and then you use that to drive a standard steam turbine cycle. So we'll be shooting it with two laser beams. Yep. Fire the pellet through, shoot it, Fusion happens, it sprays this fluid with neutrons, which mm -hmm. then heats up the fluid even more. You have some sort of heat exchanger at the bottom where you extract the heat and also the tritium in a different process. Use that heat for something useful, process heat, electricity, whatever it may be. You know, and for a commercial plant, we're talking about something like 12 megajoules okay. on target. And that is roughly the energy of a fully loaded 18 wheeler traveling at highway speeds. So just imagine picture in your head, like a truck on the highway, pulling a trailer, fully loaded, 70 miles an hour or whatever, all of the kinetic energy of that truck in a little pulse of light, a few billionths of a second long, focused on a pellet the size of a ball bearing. 18 wheeler ramming into a pellet at a billionth of a second. Okay, cool.